Okay. So we're seeing 420p shit versus Jerry's Ridley. Yeah. Uh, Jerry, um, kind of came out of nowhere in the, at the end of Smash 4 and started taking names pretty well at, um, at Winter Clash, uh, the last Smash 4 Winter Clash and some Warriors halls that he went to. But he, he doesn't, like, show up to a long term, but when he does, he does pretty well. Uh, of course, 420 Beach is taking fourth in uh, IGP. Ooh, wow. nice up smash covering the neutral getup. Yeah, and he's playing ph phenomenally. I didn't and actually know have that. KJ hop in right here to substitute me because I want to work on the stream, so. Nice down, down air into forward air. Dash attack covering Jerry's options. Oh! Oh, he still made it. Nice. Hey, uh, me then. Hey, gotta watch out for that pressure for uh, Daisy in cost. Oh, so we have Jerry and 420. I've never seen Jerry play before. Do you know anything about him? I've never seen Jerry play before. I'm sorry? I've never seen Jerry play before. Do you know, do you know anything about him? Uh, Kondi appears to uh, appears to know. He mentioned that he was a uh, a new player. Uh, he started on he started late Smash Four okay. and started taking big games from there. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've never seen him play before. Me either. Uh, he he is he does seem to be playing uh, pretty uh, pretty patient for uh, Ridley. He seems to know the matchup versus uh, Daisy. Okay. Yeah, but of course we have 420 feature. He's a uh, a veteran Smash 4 player. He's also really good here in Ultimate, especially since Stacey is so good. Also, Peach is really good. They're both the same character. Oh, so we here right. we have Daisy combo. Down throw back air grab into another back air. 70, nice. 89%. Down air. He's gonna go for a next guard. No. Right, right. Down, for 20 down. 420 is trying to space boost versus Ridley, but realizes it's not really doing well since Ridley has a lot of range. So I see I see 420 mostly going for whip punishes and opportunities to mostly hit those whips. I mean, Ridley being such a big character and so easy to hit, and if he whiffs something, that's pretty much a, an easy an easy hit for someone like Daisy. All right, the Nair almost taking the stock, not just not enough. All right. Ooh, and there nice we go, taking that stock with that top. ledge trap situation using that fair. That fair hit all the way above her. That was like an up forward air. Alright, so Pisha takes the first first game of this set. What is this by the way? Is this like a winner's quarters, a winner's What is this? Uh this is currently I believe winner's settings. Is it? All right, it's winners quarters. So it's winners quarters. Okay. See the Gary switching over to Richter. All right. Gary switching to the this Belmonts. Probably is gonna try to camp out the Peach. This will be interesting. Go! I feel like Richter can probably camp Daisy out pretty effectively, but the moment the moment Daisy gets Richter off stage, I think that's GG. Like she can just float out, out um I mean out of stage and just hit him with there and that's it. Alright. Hey. 420's doing a pretty good job catching uh Belmont's landing. He's doing a pretty good job at sharking on those platforms. Alright. I'm not really sure about this stage counter pick. I feel like Richter would prefer something like FD, something with not as many platforms. Maybe he. What I, what I believe is that he's looking for space on the platform so he so he can throw axe. Is what I believe. Maybe. Maybe he also struggled. He did struggle to land against Peach, uh, da Daisy, uh, last game. So maybe he believes he needs the platforms to be able to cover that, those options, yeah. so he doesn't get trapped so much. Yeah, that might have been it. Ooh. All right. All right, here we go. We have a, a ledge trapping situation. Down no, B, no. no down B, no. No holy water. <laughs> well, this is where Richter struggles. Both of the Melmount struggle right here. And I think that actually might be it. Nope. Nice, he there still made it. 
That was a nice delay on the upbeat. I think he doesn't have uh, a jump. Okay, now it's done. Yeah, he doesn't have a jump. Yeah, okay. Okay. For 20, looking for the stick face. Nice wait there on the roll get up. Yeah, 420 seems to be really good at these like sharking situations where she has somebody above her. I mean above him. Alright, here we go, another edge ledge trapping situation. Not really gonna get much out of it. Down throw the back air. So 420 seems to I mean obviously everybody knows the Belmont struggle at the ledge. So like every move he's doing, he's just trying to get him out, out off stage, off stage or at the ledge, further away from the ledge as possible. Uh, yeah, he do. Uh, he did the up B in the wrong direction. That was a bit unfortunate. Ooh, nice right. frame trap there, actually covering the air dodge. Nice frame trap followed by a nice set of up air strings. That's the fourth upper string string we've seen in like less than ten seconds. Alright, so we're starting to see the holy water at the ledge. Not gonna really do anything though. Back throw. Right. I like how Jerry's trying to cover as many options as possible from what uh, for twenty can do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, go. that's gonna, gonna take the take stock. The first stock. That is still the first stock though, so Jerry's gonna play out of his mind if he wants to pull this back yeah, in. Yeah, he has a really uphill struggle battle right now. He can still make it that unless he gets... Oh, nope, that's, that's it. it. Yep. Still a really good job for from uh, p -shit. Oh yeah, no, he played perfectly. Like, he knows the Bellman struggle off stage, so as soon as she gets... He got her, he got him off stage, he just starts throwing turnips and try to cover any options he tries to take.